down the left hand column and then accurate to hundreds place across the top row and when where they intersect is the corresponding probability value so for our table think of it this way here's our standard normal curve here's some z score what that what that standard normal table gives us is the value from 0 up to some z score all right so that's our table value it gives us a value from 0 up to some z score and having that piece of information along with the properties of symmetry uh, and uh, the area under the curve being 1 the area under half the curve being 1 half uh, we can compute any probability that we want to. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. <coughs> in, in our second example, let's find the shaded area using um, the standard normal, uh, the standard table here that we have from the back of the book. All right, so in, in, in number 10 here, we want to find the area trapped in between uh, 1.08 and 2.30. All right, so let's get going on that now. So in number 10, and just to remind us here, here's our standard normal curve, and we're looking for the value from 1.08 to 2.30, and we want to find that area that's trapped in between right there. All right, so to do that, think of what we do. The, 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 the table gives us values from 0 up to some z-score. So the probability, then, that our z-score would be between 1.08 and 2.30, well, think of how we could get that. We could just take the table value at z equals 2.30, the outer value, minus the table value at z equals 1.08. So we could compute all of this area here from 0 up to 2.30, and then subtract this value off from 0 to 1.08. And the remaining part would be our shaded region, exactly what we're looking for here. All right, so first let's look up these uh, values now. So first we want to look up 2.30. So we take our table now. We go down till we find 2.3. And there it is right here. And if we go along the top row, notice the very first entry is 0 .00. So the first column here of areas shows where the z-score is accurate to 0, 100s. So it looks like that value is going to be, what is it there, 0. 0.9893. So let's write that down, 9893, minus the value of 1.08. All right, so what we want to do now is to grab our, our normal table here. First, we look up 1.0. Uh, 1 and then we go across here, do we find 0.8? And then we find where those two values intersect. And it looks like it's going to be 0 0.8599. 0.8599. And now it's just a matter of, of subtracting the two values now. And uh, let's see what we get here. So we have 0.9893 minus the value at the other z-score, which is 0.8599. And so if we uh, compute that, we end up with 0.1294, about 13% of the area. All right, so there's our first one done. Now let's take a look at part B. Here, now we want to find the area of this left tail 
the area to the left of negative 1.14. All right. So here we need the probability that our z-score is going to be less than negative 1.14. So think of what we want to do here. Always draw a little sketch so I don't get confused. And in this case, we're looking for this left tail here. <clears throat> so think about it. We, our, our, our table doesn't give us these tails, but it does give us this value here. So we can compute the value from 0 back to one point, uh, negative 1.14, and then take what? One half, that's this whole area to the left of 0, minus that table value that we look up. So it looks like what we need here is 0.5, that's the left half of the standard normal table, minus the table value at negative 1.14. All right, so let's go ahead and look that up now. So we have 0.5, I'll put some zeros here so it would match up the four digits from the table. And now we'll just, we'll just shoot up the table till we get to the negative values. And we're going to look up, uh, we're going to go down till we get to negative 1.1. And then across the top till we find 0 0.04. And so it looks like we get 0 0.1271. So when we compute that now, let's see what we get. 0 0.5 minus 0 0.1271. And so that looks...